What's up LP Nation? Welcome to this quick how to build a portfolio when getting started tutorial for dummies. In the next five to six minutes, I'm going to share five quick tips on how to build a portfolio when getting started as a freelancer. Be sure to watch as I know that a lot of you are struggling to build a portfolio without having done any work in the past. So baby freelancers, listen up. This video will answer most common questions when starting from scratch. Before going through the five quick tips, here's an extra tip for you. You should also have your portfolio set up independently outside of freelancing platforms you're working on. As this is your first portfolio, you still don't need a portfolio website, so it will be easy. A good move would be to either create a YouTube channel that would serve as your portfolio channel because it's easy to upload the work and share it with any potential clients. Or if you're not working in one of the niches that would be categorized as visual design, YouTube is obviously not the best fit. In that case, I would recommend G Drive. It has enough free storage, especially for someone just starting out. It also supports uploading and previewing of all kinds of file categories. As a backup option, if you don't want to use G Drive, I would recommend Jobbox. However, I must say G Drive comes with a lot of more initial free storage space comparing to Jobbox. And finally, with that being covered, let's go to tip number one. Find free assets online, edit them and boom, you got your very first portfolio item or even items. So. There are a lot of sites out there, but Freepik and Pexels would be a great start. Freepik has millions of free graphic resources and basically all that you need for your creative projects. And Pexels, on the other hand, is one of the best free stock photo and video sites out there. You can use the photos and videos everywhere. And as a bonus, it's even free for commercial use and no attribution is required. But that's a good piece of info to have in mind for the future projects. For now, only head to Photoshop, After Effects or any other appropriate or preferred editing software, play around with the assets you downloaded, modify them, and lastly, showcase them as the first items in your new portfolio. Bonus tip, if you're a total beginner, not having any tools or not knowing how to use any tools, just Google Canva. Make your own assets by using Canva's drag and drop tools and presets, hundreds of templates, no experience needed whatsoever. So Canva is your best bet if you're a total beginner in this niche. Very beginner friendly. Tip number two, reuse any personal assets you might have and showcase them as past work. Try to remember if you did anything in the past for somebody else, or maybe it was just a personal project of some kind, just for fun. Anyway, many people forget that they already have some assets stored on their computers, mobile phones from the past, which are totally okay for reuse and editing. Also, as a bonus, it will save you a lot of time. Tip number three, enter contests and showcase your contest entries as a part of your portfolio. So if you're on a freelancer.com or similar platforms, every time you enter a contest or when you provide a small sample as a part of the project bid, use all of that resources as your portfolio items. It doesn't really matter if these are only basic examples of your work or small samples. Anything goes when starting out. You will easily upgrade your portfolio as you grow. Don't worry. Tip number four, create your logo or brand just for fun and then upload it to your portfolio. This could be a real fun practice and very useful at the same time. Why don't you create your artistic name or brand name, logo, banner, something in that line. Any asset that you've created now for your fresh band is also a potential portfolio item. And remember, you as an individual, yes, as a freelancer or just a person, you can also be a brand and in fact you are a brand so here goes an extra ninja tip for you brands are not only reserved for companies in fact personal brands are on the rise and a smart thing to consider building whatever it is that you do for a living or plan to do in the near future maybe your field of expertise your education all of that is less important because you should really start building your personal online brand either way build up that online presence because our future is really the future of 
online space being totally dominated and crushed by strong personal brands. Where will you position yourself? Let's go to tip number five. Do something for fun, a private project, or help out somebody for free. Of course, minimal work, don't cater to freeloaders, okay? Then document that process, and lastly, publish the results as portfolio items. Boom! So, only trying all of the tips I mentioned in this video would leave you with at least 5 to 10 portfolio items, and that's more than enough to start freelancing. Now, get out there and grab that first paid project. Good luck! Cause I'm not sure.